Welcome boys and girls to our lesson 2 in matrices form 3. So I'm doing matrices from scratch form 3. First we saw what is a matrix in lesson 1. A matrix is just an arrangement of numbers in a given bracket. Okay? So what we know is you can tabulate things. So you can have figures in a table. But when we extract those figures and put them in a bracket, now that is called a matrix. Okay? I have a table. I have a table here. This table 1 shows cut 1. Marks for English, Math, and Biology. The students in my class are Peter, John, Brian, and Victor. Those are my students. Okay, my class has only four students. So, this cut was out of ten. In English, Peter got this. In Math, he got that. And in Bio, he got that. You can easily interpret my table, okay? So I tabulated the marks of my four students. That was cut one. And then this is cut two. I hope you can see them. This is nine, seven, eight. This is eight for John, nine in maths, and this is seven. Brian, in English, he got 6, and then in Mathematics, he got 5, and then in Bio, he got 6 again. And then here we have Victor. Victor got 5 in English, 7 in Maths, 8 in Bio. Are they clear? Yes. So, this is a good class good class why there was an improvement or retain what you got that is what you should do improvement or retain retain what you had but don't drop now these are in table now if you don't remember now i can write them in a bracket Seven, five, six, eight, nine, seven, then three, four, five, and finally four, five, five. Now this is a matrix. A matrix of which order? Do you remember? Row by column. So can you tell me? Yes. You are right. 3 by 4. 1, 2, 3. And then column 1, column 2, column 3, column 4. Same. I can do that. This is cut 2. So I have 9, 7, 8. 8, 9, 7. Then 6, 5, 6, and then five, seven, eight. What is the order of that matrix? Three by four. Even this one, three by four. This is what we call order. This is the order. Okay. Now, I want you to observe that I maintained the positions. Okay? I maintained the position of my table. The subjects, the way I wrote them in the first table, is the same way I've written in the second table. The names are in the same order. Peter, John, Brian, Victor. 
even in the second table you still have Peter maybe I use this to help you Peter and then John Brian Victor okay this is gonna be very easy and interesting the next thing I want you to do is now we write the total marks yeah I want to get the total marks out of 10 out of 10 so I'm going to write total marks out of 20 if I ask you that total marks out of 20 what will you do correct you will take for Peter his total marks will be 7 plus 9 7 plus 9 that is will be his total in English you can easily get this you can easily get this okay if I ask you what is the total for Peter in maths so you can see maths Peter maths Peter even here maths Peter so you have this and this now in the Cartesian plane there is positioning if you are in form 4 even in longitude latitude there is the way we name things so in matrices we call like this one is C1 R, I mean R1 C1 because the order is row and then you talk of column not the other way around so you see this is row 1 and column 1 what about this it is on the row 1 but column 4 okay so if I wanted Victor here I look for the same row 1 column 4 so what is his total 4 plus 5 so I'm developing the order into helping in naming positions get me right our order is always in the form of row times column okay so you write the row and then you write column so I am using R for row and C for column so if I'm asked here this 7 here this 7 I want to name it it is on row number 1 row number 2 and then column number column number 1 number 2 number 3 number 4 so I will write R 2 C 4 can you try this 6 this 6 can you try to name it which position does it occupy good it will be row number one number two number three so it is in position r3 then you count the column one two three so r3 c3 now if you can get that it is very easy for us to get the total okay how how do we get the total I want us to get the total of this cut one and cut two okay cut one and cut two so I will try to shift the camera so that we write them somewhere here okay so here I want us to do what total marks okay total marks out of 20 okay total max out of 20 so I will do what just somewhere there this in bracket is 
cut 1 plus cut 2. You may not see the rest, but I will just show you in a moment. Plus. So, uh -huh. cut 1. Cut 1 is 7, 5, 6. And then, 8, 9, 7. And then, 3, 4, Five and then four, five, five. Then cut two was nine, seven, eight, eight, nine, seven, six, five, six, and then five, seven, eight. Yeah. My felt pen are running out of ink, but I'm sure you can see. So this represent cut one matrix. This is cut two. I can easily add them. Why my table work was good? My perception of arrangement perfect. Okay. So if your table work is good. It is very easy to transfer. When you put a bracket, it is a matrix. And now you know the order and you know the positioning. So cut one is this and cut two is this. I know what is first here belongs to Peter. Peter, Peter. The next is John, John. The next is Brian, Brian. And then I have Victor, Victor. So, English is the first one. So I can have English. And then we have maths. And then bio. So what do we get now? It is 7, I will add to 9, which will give me 16. Now I go to who? John, still English. I'm doing only English. Cut one, John got eight. Cut two, he got eight. So again, 16. A very good class. Then I go to Brian. Cut one, three. Cut two, six. Nine. Then I go to Victor. Victor had four. Cut one. And I had five. Cut two. English. So I have. Nine. Okay. Now I want to add their maths in cut one and cut two. So I check here. Peter got five cut one. The same position I maintained for Peter. Seven. So five and seven, twelve. Then you come to who? John, cut one, nine, cut two, nine. Very good, 18. Then I come to Brian. Brian, cut one, four, cut two, five. Good, nine. Then I come to Victor. Cut one, five in maths. Cut two in maths. What? Seven. Total? Twelve. Now we come to who? We come to add for biology. Peter, 6. And here Peter, 8, 14. Then we have who? John. John, 7, 7, 14. Then we go to who? Brian. 5 and 6, 11. And then 5 and 8, 13. That. Those are our totals. So, what advantage do you have? You have advantage of the arrangement in your table if they are maintained in 
position it is very easy to get the total otherwise the teacher would have maybe preferred to disarrange the names starts with victor then peter then then you would be looking for you'd be looking where is peter for you to add you will be looking for where is victor where is brian but if you maintain position then addition is straightforward okay so what conclusion can we draw addition i'm not going to do subtraction but i'm writing it subtraction requires addition or subtraction requires matrices of the same order so you can also try okay for addition or subtraction matrices must be of the same order so here addition subtraction matrices must be of the same order why you have to match the positions if i have c1 i mean r1 c1 of matrix 1 it can only be added or subtracted to or from another r1 c1 so it has to be a complete match or pairing if my matrix a is of order 2 by 2 then matrix b must be of order 2 by 2 for either addition or subtraction to take place i think with this you can try with this you can try get an exercise just do addition and subtraction don't go to multiplication that will be lesson three this is very simple don't go to multiplication if two matrices are to be added or subtracted they must be of the same order I can only add matrices if they are of the same order and you know order is written using rows and then times column so if I have 3 by 1 that is known as column matrix eh? 3 by 1 huh? 1 2 3 but column is 1 then it can only be added to another matrix of order 3 by 1 okay that's what we do essentially in translation translation you have ot object plus translation gives you image ot that's very good okay you remember ot in matrices i did that for form 4 so here remember just add or subtract matrices of the same order subscribe for lesson 3 it will come bye bye